anyway, so I wanted to walk through here. So what's your, ex so right now we're at Stone Outlet, Quartzo, yes. Tampa. And um, how long have you been working with uh, Poseidon equipment? Going on seven years now. Seven years, but you started out in Valdosta, right? Valdosta. Right, and they had a T-Rex, one of the first ones. The second one ever built. Right, dual table X, model X, a big mamma jamma like this one. Yep. Most, most common model today is the model S. This one's really high, it's got more Z-stroke, it can do sculpting as well. So this machine was actually installed in 2018. Um, what would you say was your experience between the two um, in terms of like quality, easy, easy to use, production capability? I would definitely say the T-Rex by far is the workhorse, it's much more durable, built better. Um, the fact that it has the dual table capability, I mean, it knocks any single table machine out because you have the ability to, the machine can work on one side and you have the ability to set the pods on the far side, so right when the machine's finished, you're already moving. Working non-stop. Basically. Yes. Okay. The machine's very simple to take care of. It has automatic grease system, so I mean, all you got to do is make sure the reservoir's full, full yeah. and everything else is pretty much common sense. How about the vacuum sense. system? How reliable did you feel the vacuum system was? Wait, as a matter of fact, I believe that at the shop you were at, they asked us to retrofit their other brand machine. Yes. Which I don't need to say the name, but... Right. So yes, we took apart the other machine's suction system and put the PAP system on that machine, retrofitted, made system, it right? work, never had an issue with that machine. Still running with it. Still running that same, <laughs> yes, How same PAP. That? that was 2017? Going on a long time, yeah. yes. All right, cool. So we're here at Stone Outlet now. They got their dual table T-Rex. Um, along the way, they added some machines, which unfortunately we've discontinued. Um, because the Viking 2s are five axis saws. We actually, the sales went down because when people would come for an option for a five axis saw or a CNC router, three axis, they actually, we'd show them, they'd ask me then, ask this, you know, what does the T-Rex do? All of them, all of them switched to the T-Rex. They're like, I don't want, I don't care if the machine's cheaper. I'm switching to the T-Rex. Um, so actually last year we had to discontinue the Viking juice just they weren't selling. Wow. Neither was a three axis guardian, a three axis single table yeah. machine for the price from the three axis to the five axis T-Rex. They just went with the T-Rex, uh, more versatility, right? right. Cause you can cut, you can, you can cut that. So this shop, they, they had added the Viking to, of course we still service it. The 7000, which we also discontinued many years ago, bridge saw. Now we have the Lotus. And then they bought another Viking 2 as well, saw. And they had also gotten a single table T Rex X over here. And now we're in the installation. We're on the installation. That's why we're here today with all of our technicians. We're doing a little calibration class we call it to get all of our technicians synced in on a uniform process to install t-rexes this is a trident edge machine which you guys use for all your uh, kitchen countertops that are straight runs right yes. awesome awesome so now we're going to be able to put this machine on and then we'll have three t-rexes in line over here and each machine there's only one operator yep. and there's one programmer for all of it. So you have one programmer overseeing the whole process wow. while one guy loads the material. It's a one man job with the jib cranes that come with the machine. Right. You're currently programming for how many CNC machines? Five. Wow. Five. The three there and the two here. So they're pretty easy to program. Yes. How long does the program take you to do? So on the salt table, I would, I'm, I'm very quick. I'm quicker than most, I would say. Like, yeah. I still to this no, day. No, no, no. You're up there. I'm pretty quick. In so, the, in the nation, probably. I program myself some days 30 slabs of material. 30. Wow. Yes. 30 cycles. Yes. Now, I can't, I would like to do it ahead of time, but sometimes the material has blemishes. So, I have to do it one by one by one by one by one. Right. But as it's coming off, I save my drawings and I open them up on the W cam for the. The T-Rex here, one right. drawing, I don't have to redraw it, same right, program, right, right. just move the pieces over, right. apply my tools, and go. And I, I try to stay ahead of the guys that 
run the machine. I'm always ahead of them. Like right. I'm always, I see this guy's almost done. I'll have his next program ready before he before the machine finishes. So it's a consistent process. Right. They never need to leave their station. It's just on and off. Very simple. How about the routers? How how easy is it to program the routers? It's, it's very it's very simple. I mean, the way you guys have it set up, once I have my drawing, it literally is as easy as select tool, select your line, select tool, and you're done. Got it. It's a very right. simple process. Excellent. So now, when we get this uh, machine installed, I think that the big boss, his plans are he wants to go hybrid everything, right? Based off the calculations, if we go hybrid, which is cutting and fabbing the whole thing in one shot, Think that our numbers came out that you might not even need the cnc saws at all right right be able to do that same production in a day the 30 slabs a day yes. with three operators a couple touch-up guys and a couple guys to help move stuff and yes. run pieces through the edges and the pieces come off the machine finished yeah from my understanding so we don't need five fabricators anymore you only just need to do touch-up to right touch-ups right so you're talking about probably eight people in the whole shop total to do 30 slabs processed in a shift. Yes. On these three machines. I mean that's that's numbers. Yeah. Eight guys producing almost 30 slabs of production in one in one shift. It's that's a lot. It's impressive. It's very impressive. It's a nice place to be at. How many water jets are in here? Zero. Nice. Have I ever needed a water jet? No, I have not. Got it. Alright, my man. Well thank you so much for the time. I appreciate it. Anytime. Thanks, man.